In this video, I'm going to show you the 10 most effective push-up modifications that will increase your overall upper body mass, as well as completely define your pecs, allowing you to achieve your goals faster and more efficiently. Everyone knows of the classic push-up exercise. Fortunately, push-ups can be performed with a plethora of variations, successfully emphasizing different muscle groups and with greater intensity. Find what push-up variation works best for your body, and you'll see the definition and add muscle mass like never before. So watch the video till the end. Number one, standard push-up. Standard push-up is the foundation and essence of all push-up variations. This famous exercise primarily targets your chest, arms, and shoulders and to a certain extent other muscles in the body including your abdominals, quads, glutes, and many more. It's simple yet incredibly effective for training many muscles altogether. How to perform a standard push-up? To start, assume a plank position on the floor with your toes touching the ground and your palms set parallel to your shoulders. Keep your legs fully extended throughout the set, your core firmly contracted, and your glutes engaged to maintain a straight torso. Keeping your neck neutrally aligned with the spine, bend at your elbows and slowly lower your chest towards the ground. As you do so, keep your torso rigid and avoid rotating your shoulders internally. Once your chest is several inches from the ground, push through your palms and slowly raise your torso back to the starting position until your arms are almost fully extended. Number 2. Wide Hand Push-Up Alternatively known as a wide grip or wide arm push-up, this variation is marked by the hand set significantly wider than shoulder width apart. This way, there's greater recruitment of the pectoral muscles while reducing the triceps brachii involvement. Because of this exercise's inherently shorter range of motion, some consider it an easier alternative. If you need more training to do the conventional push-ups, doing wide grip push-ups would be a good substitute to strengthen your pecs. How to do a wide hand push-up. First off, Get into a plank position with your hands spread further than the shoulder width distance apart. Fully extending your arms will allow your torso to move towards the floor as you bend at the elbows and keep your torso straight. Once your chest is within a hand's breadth of touching the floor, push through your palms and into the ground, pushing yourself back to a full plank position as your elbows are back to being fully extended. Number three, archer push-ups. As one of the advanced variations, archer push-ups can promote strength building by training one side with greater intensity and focus. It seriously engages your pectoral muscles, all the while putting greater loading on one side of the body at a time. Thanks to its larger range of motion and the one-sided weight distribution, it translates to more intense reps, thus giving you a more intense workout with just your body weight alone. How to do archer push-ups? Start in a high plank position with your arms straight and your hands wider than shoulder width apart. Make sure your head, shoulders, hips, and feet stay in line. Always keep your knees and hips off the ground. To begin, lower yourself down until your chest touches one hand while you keep your other arm straight out to the side. From there, do a push-up and then alternate sides, counting one rep when you return to the starting high plank position. Number four, pike push-up. This exercise is an excellent movement to build up the shoulders and strength as it places great resistance on the deltoids. It promotes a wide range of rotation of the shoulders. Its starting position is more like an intense plank, which makes it good for core stability. The pike push-up uses no equipment and all of its resistance is solely from your own body weight. If you can do a conventional push-up, then you're capable of doing a pike push-up. How to perform a pike push-up? Start by doing a standard plank position on the ground, keeping your hands parallel with your shoulders. Move your pelvis upward and forward to form a triangle with your body. Move your torso forward and down with your hands remaining still while your chest rolls forwards. Your elbows should then bend towards the rear of your body as they do so and not to the sides. Once your head is within several inches of touching the floor, simply reverse the motion to complete one rep. Number 5. Diamond Push-Up a more advanced push-up form that primarily works your triceps but also engages the chest and shoulders. The hand placement for diamond push-ups is closer together, creating a diamond or triangle shape with your fingers. This narrower grip targets the triceps more intensely while also working the inner chest muscles and front deltoids. If you want to enhance your tricep strength, give diamond push-ups a try. How to do diamond push-ups? Begin in a plank position with your hands together forming a diamond shape with your thumbs and index fingers. Keep your feet together and your body straight. Lower your chest toward your hands, keeping your elbows close to your sides. Press back up to the starting position, maintaining a straight line from your head to your heels throughout the movement. Number six, single arm push-up. 
This advanced form of push-up is designed to build stability and strengthen both the upper body and core. When you do a set of single arm push-ups, it means you aren't afraid to put in work because it takes tons of practice, coordination, and balance to do it. By removing one arm from the equation, you're increasing the load of the working arm and reducing your base of support, adding an element of instability to make it more challenging. So, mastering this variation absolutely calls for a celebration. On another note, establish good upper body strength first before attempting the one-arm push-up. You can do this by doing 30 unbroken traditional push-ups first, or doing a couple of challenging push-up variations. How to do a single-arm push-up? Start by assuming a push-up position with your shoulders stacked over your wrists and your feet slightly wider than hip-width apart. Maintain a straight body from your head to your feet, keeping the tension throughout your body. Raise your right hand off the floor and bring it behind your back. From there, bend your left elbow to lower your body toward the floor. Press away from the floor to return to the starting position. Always do equal reps on both arms to ensure balance. Number 7. Superman Push-Up This challenging variation targets the chest, shoulders, and core while also boosting the overall upper body strength. It's one of the best push-up forms to develop core strength and one of the most advanced plank variations to target the obliques and abdominals. Adding this to your routine brings a host of benefits including improved posture and stability, increased muscle activation, and a stronger, more defined upper body. It's an advanced level exercise so you will have to be able to do at least 12% standard push-ups. How to do a Superman push-up? Start in a traditional push-up position. Now extend your arms in front of you and extend your legs behind you. Your fingers should be spread out and your core and glutes tightened. Lower your body down to the ground while keeping your back straight and your core engaged. Hold this Superman-like position for a second or two, then slowly lower your body back to the starting position. Number 8. Clapping Push-Up A dynamic and explosive push-up variation that builds power and speed. The clapping push-up engages the chest, shoulders, triceps, and core while also improving coordination and agility. This plyometric exercise increases the intensity of your push-up routine, making it a great addition for those looking to build explosive strength. How to perform clapping push-ups correctly. Start in a standard push-up position. Lower your chest toward the floor, then push up explosively, using enough force to lift your hands off the ground. Clap your hands together quickly before returning them to the starting position and catching yourself as you land back in the push-up position. Number 9. Decline Push-Up this variation increases the challenge by elevating your feet, which shifts more of your body weight onto your upper body. The increased angle primarily targets the upper chest and shoulders. It also engages the core more intensely, making it a great full body exercise. Decline push-ups can be performed using a bench, a sturdy chair, or any elevated surface. How to perform decline push-ups? Start by placing your feet on an elevated surface and your hands on the floor slightly wider than shoulder width apart. Your body should form a straight line from your head to your heels. Lower your chest toward the floor by bending your elbows. Push back up to the starting position, maintaining a straight body line throughout the movement. Number 10, shoulder tap push-up. This full body strength exercise emphasizes the arms and chest while also strengthening the core. The shoulder tap is the key movement here as it forces you to activate more stabilizer muscles. Balancing your weight on one arm in a push-up position also demands more work from your abs, obliques, and back muscles, thus making this variation a powerful core and full body exercise. With a solid midriff comes a stronger, more capable version of yourself. How to do shoulder tap push-ups? Get on all fours with your hands under your shoulders, toes tucked and knees off the floor. Walk your hands out a bit wider than shoulder width, and press your hips up to a high plank. Lower your chest toward the ground until your arms form a 90 degree angle. Push back up to the plank position, then lift one hand and tap the opposite shoulder. Return your hand to the ground and repeat on the other side. So there you have it, 10 of the most effective push-up variations that you can do at home to build upper body strength and mass. Each of these exercises targets different muscles and offers unique benefits, so try incorporating them into your routine to keep things challenging and fun. Remember to start with the basics and gradually progress to more advanced variations as your strength and form improve. If you want to know how daily squats can transform your body, then watch this video.